Welcome to uh, Heavy Montreal. Uh, the band's been off the road recently, and here you are. Yeah, here we are. Uh, How, tell me a little bit about it. Uh, well, we got a call. You right. want to go to Canada. Uh, you want to interrupt your vacation. Right. Your nice barbecue and time back home and come to Canada and play a little bit. And we were like, yeah, that's right. I mean, Lamb of God have had to cancel for the reasons we all know. Right. Uh, so we said, yeah, we love Canada. So. We'll, it's a fly-in, fly-out kind of scenario, you know, kind of leaving, scenario. leaving Friday and home on Tuesday. That's not a bad deal. No, no. Now, the uh, last album, Sounds of the Playground Fading, came out in 2011. Yeah. Is that something you're going to keep working in terms of uh, touring, or do you start recording the next one soon? No, we'll probably continue touring for, for a whole next year, and then, okay. then we're going to uh, think about what we're going to do. I mean, we already had some stuff in our heads, but actually writing process is something that we do when we get off the road. We okay. need to focus on that. And uh, there's too many... I mean, the, the, th the thing is that you have so much time, really, when you're on the road, but we can't, we can't focus. That's, that's, I don't know what it is with us, but there's so many distractions around you that... Is there any... I'd rather go out and have uh, good food, good beer, than sit by a computer and, <laughs> and, and record. Is there any kind of Pro Tools or any kind of rig on the road where you're putting in riffs? I do, stuff? I do. Okay. No, I do have my own stuff with me. I have right. a little Pro Tools rig, uh, a small little keyboard where I can right, play. Right. So uh, I do that and write basically for myself, just to keep keep sane, you know. Uh, right. Uh, but uh, actually, in Flames music, we, we need to you know, relax for a little bit and then start thinking about it and digging okay. in. Okay. Now, um, you know, in Flames. Talking about a next album, is it still relevant to make albums in this day and age, or uh, is it time to get then to singles and to EPs? For me, for me, it is definitely. Okay. I think about the album format. It's and I think today it's actually more important than ever. When you, uh, it's so uh, easy to just release singles and small snippets of music, and it's out there. I, I think it's important to still have that that feeling. The feeling. Maybe kids growing up today don't have that, but I'm too old school in my thinking. <laughs> I'm used to that, used to the vinyl, you know. Uh, I wasn't that fond of the CD format because it was so easy to skip music. Right. Even though I have like one million CDs, but uh, it's it's um, I, I'm, I'm more of the album. I think of part of the problem with CD format is that you got into these albums of 75 minutes, yeah. and it was just a lot of filler on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any filler on an uh, In Flames album? No. I mean, if you ask me, <laughs> never in our whole career we had fillers, but that's just me. But you know, you're right. That's what I love about music as well. It's so you can you can speak to so many people and everybody right. have, has opinion about it, and that's kind of fine, you know. I get asked that quite a lot. What do you think about all these ranting on on, on the internet? It's like, you know, that's that's cool. That's it's. I, I can't change it. I can't do anything about it. And. I mean, if you're part of the game, you're part of the game, right? So now, In Flames has its style, has its you know its fan base. You, as an artist, have you ever thought of stepping out of In Flames and doing something on your own with your own vision? Yeah, like I said, I, I'm writing stuff that is definitely not In Flames style. It's more mellow okay. uh, and a bit darker, I would say, okay. vibe to it. And if I would do something, it would never be another heavy metal band because that's because this is the greatest one. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so for me, for me, it's um, there's no point. I don't have to prove anything, really. Right. Is uh, there a plan for a release, or is this you're just sort of accumulating nah. this stuff for whenever? I'm thinking about doing something next year just for the fun. I see where, okay. where it will go, but it will be a very low key. And you know, I release it on my own, maybe, and it's just whatever. Not doing any press about it because it, it's just for my ego. That's right. That you want to have something, do something. You know? Right, right, right. I have tons of music that's. Me and my family have been listening to it. Those are the only ones, yeah. You and your family. Yeah. Now, uh, after Heavy Montreal, you said you're going back to Sweden. When does the next leg of the tour kick up and, and when do you get going? We have one more festival in Europe to play. Okay. Uh, it's the beginning of September. Uh, and then we have whole September off, uh, half October, and then we do a uh, loud park in uh, uh, Japan. Okay. And from there, we will probably. Uh, continue to do another tour i mean we have stuff but it's like it's too early to tell okay to the press to the too <laughs> early to tell to the press that's right and um in terms of 
uh, product for the yeah. fans. Is there anything else down the pipeline? Is there a live DVD or any kind of collection coming or just something to keep sort of filling the uh, hole? Not that we know. I think the record company wants us to do some, some stuff, but, okay. but uh, we haven't uh, we haven't caved in yet. <laughs> you haven't caved in yet. <laughs> Is that going to happen? Do you cave? I, no, yeah. yeah. Do well, the that, actually, cave? we are on a re very good record label, so I, we have good people. So I, that's all. Yeah, but. It, the thing is, I, I, I don't want to release too much stuff here and there. I right, right, right. don't want to focus on that. But I want to do a, another live DVD. I want to do a live album. Uh, but maybe of course, if you do a down live the line. DVD, you should come do that in Montreal. We should, definitely. Crazy definitely. fans for you. Right? Always, always, always so good. Old Canada have been great to Inflames from, from the from the beginning. And we've had some of the greatest greatest shows uh, in terms yeah. of... Uh, in terms of uh, the feeling you have after, you know, when, when you're done, it's like, That's right it. now you can do whatever to me, I don't care, because I had the greatest show ever. <laughs> so. That's great, now I yeah. know you got to go places, so thank you for your yeah, time. Thank you. And if people want to find you, facebook.com slash Inflames. Facebook, uh, Twitter's, Facebook, Inflames.com, we're, we're out there in the cyber world. You're on just, there too. Just come find us. Yeah. Great, well yeah. thank you. Cheers. Have a good one.